Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today we're doing another ghost box session. And um, if you remember the last session we did, which me and my sister, and it said her name and said some other things. Apparently, it said bad when we asked her if it was good or bad, and I didn't hear it, but my sister did. And a few other people who listened to it said that too. But um, ever since then, I've been nervous to the ghost box, but I don't know. And for some reason, I want to do it now. I was just on FaceTime with my sister, and she takes care of this old lady. And she was telling me how, like, a house is haunted. She's seen, like, a ghost cat um, a couple times. She hasn't seen that in a while. And this weird thing is about the, like, the woman she takes care of. Now, her and her husband built that house that, you know, she lives in. That my sister stays in to take care of the old lady. And they never had cats, so it's weird that it's a ghost cat. Also, she thinks it's probably the spirit of her husband, but, um... She was also one time seeing a tall man before she woke up, like, in the middle of the night, seeing this tall man. And we joke around saying it was Slender Man, because that's what Glory said it kind of looked like. But it was weird, and she was saying how this other girl, too, because my sister doesn't work there every day. She just works, like, Monday through Thursday. Um, she was saying the other girl that goes there, too, she said she's heard, like, three knocks before and stuff. So, I don't know. Some weird stuff has happened here. And what's really weird, I had a dream last night that... Me and my mom and my sister were, like, at this place. I don't know what this place is. It's some sort of, like, sat satanic place. Like, where they were doing rituals and, like, worshipping, like, Satan. It was so weird. Like, I remember, it was, like, there was this guy. And apparently, we knew him. I don't know. I, I can't remember the details of the dream. I just remember that. I remember we came back to my house. And I was saging the whole house and ourselves. Because I was scared of, like, they wanted anything attached to us from there. I don't know. It was such a weird dream. I've had dreams like that before. My house being haunted. and like mean I wanted to be here like it's just been weird especially like my room I haven't had one of those dreams in a while but it's, I've had them like cried a few times not cry I want to say cried a few times but you know I guess cried a few times but I don't know and I have the mail behind us so that's something and I will say though after that last video of my sister me my mom and sister did it kind of for fun things. Well, it was really just me and my mom doing it. My sister didn't want to do it. She was still in the room, though. And we didn't get anything, but I just wanted to ask it a few questions, and I'm nervous to use it. I'm going to sit back. If you guys see anything in the mail or behind me, please let me know the timestamp. I'm nervous to use it. I'm going to say a quick prayer. Please, God, and Jesus, protect me from any negative energy that would come through this ghost box. And I only want to talk to good spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ, any negative energy cannot stay here. I don't know about this, guys. I want to, but I'm, like, nervous. I don't know anymore. I'm, like, scared to do it. I don't know. I don't know right now, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know if I could do this. I'm, like, nervous to do it, and, like, I don't know. No, let's just do it. If I remember how to turn this thing on. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I only want to talk to good spirits. Is there anyone here? How many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers am I holding up? Um, 
something I wanted to ask you now I can remember. Have you been messing with my alarm on my clock? I'll explain to you guys after about the alarm. Have you been taking my mom's stuff? my family here? If you don't want to talk to me, if you want me to stop talking to you, can you tell me? Can you say yes? My mom has been, um, can't find her stuff. It's the lady that my sister works for a house haunted. Haunting the lady that my sister takes care of for her husband. I'm gonna end this session. It was nice talking to you. Um, no, we'll do this again. I don't know when, but I appreciate it. Good luck with your thing. And. Can you please just uh, leave us alone and stop like taking our stuff? We're not trying to hurt you or anything. Okay, we don't want to hurt you or cause you any issues. We're just trying to live our lives in this house. Okay, we won't bother you. If you don't want to communicate with me anymore, I'll respect it and I'll leave you alone. But I would like you to respect us and leave us alone. When it, we, we can, you know, if you're negative, then in the name of Jesus Christ, I would like you to leave. But if you could just, um, you know, not mess with us, that would be nice. Okay, so goodbye. So, that was weird. When I started doing it, I did feel okay. Like, I didn't feel as nervous anymore, but... Just feel like I wasn't getting my, many answers. And the whole alarm thing, like, I set my alarm every day, right, to wake up. And for some reason, it doesn't go off. So I thought, okay, because I play a video on my phone to help me fall asleep, too. It's the sound of an air conditioner. So I thought, okay, maybe because of the video playing, it won't make the alarm go off. So I only set, the video is 10 hours long. So I just set it for, like, a couple hours, like, four hours to let it go off before my alarm goes off. And... And, but it's still, for some reason, my alarm, like, gets turned off, and I put it on. You know, the iPhone's alarm, like, you set the alarm, and it's on. So, there's no reason why it should be get turned off and not go off. So, that's weird. And my mom has had a few things missing. So, yeah. Hope you guys know this film. I'm sorry, I kind of hesitated in the beginning. I was nervous, but... Yeah, I'm not going to do this for a while, though. I think we just sometimes got to just leave things alone. Do appreciate spirits who were willing to communicate. We did get that definitive yes in the beginning. Then after that, I really couldn't make out anything. Except after that, it sounded like they said asshole. But, yeah. You know, I do. I feel okay. I don't feel weird anymore about things. Like, it is weird doing it by yourself. Like, I'd rather just send my phone up like I used to do on in the hallway and sit there and record and listen back for voices 
to me that's not as like freaky as this i don't know like this is cool it's not super scary but like i don't know i don't know but let me know what you guys hear in the comments you know if you hear anything that i miss but i love you guys so much follow me on my socials follow everyone in my description guys please subscribe to me please like and please comment also if you've seen anything in the mail i have two mails this little one and the big one behind me um so if you notice anything in there let me know you can see forgot to turn my fan off in here but you can see that moving so but yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video peace hey guys so i just walked out of my room and i started and i smelled this like it smelled like a perfume or you know a body spray and the thing is look i do have like candles here but like they're covered like in like these type of candles that are not covered they really don't have that strong smell where you can like smell without having to have like without having to put it to your nose so that's just where i got this strong riff you know and i walk past my room constantly right and these candles have been in here for a while i never smell it you know i never like smell them without you know putting your nose there unless you light them that's just weird. It lasted for like a couple of, like at least a good five seconds. Usually when you smell a random smell, it lasts like two seconds. This pair, but this lasts like a good five to seven seconds. That's just weird to me. It's not the first time I've smelled random smells. I remember one time in my kitchen, I smelled like a perfume for like two seconds. So I don't know. That is weird. I just wanted to share that with you guys. But maybe, it, I mean, is it possible to be the candles? I don't know because I constantly walk past here. In and out of my room, and I've never smelled it before. I never smell them, and they're covered anyways. Like, you know, and like these are just generic candles that really don't smell. You know, it's like decoration. Like it has a little bit of a smell, but you will have to like put it up to your nose because like these are kind of old. Like these these couple can candles. I mean, these bigger ones are recently used. I like, recently bought candles, but. Like, these ones are old, and, like, you really have to put them up to your face to smell them, you know? So, I don't know. That's just really weird to me. Fix that picture. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. But anyways, guys, I just want to share that. I'm out. Peace.